Nine years of a back and forth with you and Bob. Does this kind of bury the hatchet with, with them? I don't, I don't really think about that. You know, I don't, like, I don't, I'm being straight honest. I don't even, I don't even Google my name. You know, I don't go in there and worry about nothing. My, my life is calm until I go out into the public. Once I go out, it's gonna be it's right. When I go out, it's a riot every day. But when I'm not out. I mean, but I sit back and and say to myself that damn. <clears throat> today I was like, I'm I'm real thankful for my fans. I'm very thankful because my boxing gym. Every day I train for eight weeks. <clears throat> Two hundred, three hundred fans is in front of the gym every day. I mean, I know a lot of them is not fans. They just want autographs so they can sell them, <laughs> so they can profit. <laughs> but they're still out there every day. Like, like Would you enjoy Saturday night, huh? the whole event? Would you enjoy it, or is it too much of a job for you? It's just work. It's just work. I just look at it. It's just my job to go out there and do what I do. Well, we've we've seen ways, you. With your emphasis on the undefeated record, have you been the one to raise the bar and possibly high for yourself where that's what people are ultimately going to judge you by? Um, only God can judge me. Is that safe to say? <laughs> but professional, your professional career. I mean, My professional career, I've done, a, I've done a, a great job. Um, two fights left. <coughs> um, Rocky Marciano, people ask me about his record. Mm. Marky Marciano is a hell of a fighter, you know. He, Marky Marciano lived in his era, and I take my hat off to guys like, like I said, Marciano, Ali, um, Ray Robinson, and so many legendary, legend, legendary champions that paved the way for me to be where I'm at. But you know, right now I'm TBE, and Saturday, before the fight and after the fight, I still will be TBE. Uh, one fight, like I said before. This one fight, even if I did, if I didn't fight Manny Pacquiao, that don't define my career. That don't. That doesn't, that doesn't make me. <clears throat> Pacquiao doesn't. But does the zero define your career? Is that the pressure? That don't you define face? my career. What 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 I think the great thing about my career, I was a smart businessman. <clears throat> Let's talk about that. You know, we, we can talk about that. A 19-year career with no punishment on the body and hundreds of millions. No, that's that, that's something to talk about. Does that mean more to you than the zero, though? What, the money? Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Because, because at the end of the day, my, my daughter can't eat no zero, but she can eat, she can eat the money zero. She can't spend the boxing record. <laughs> Floyd, you might. It's a bigger fight than uh, Rumble in the jungle. I mean, I, you know, um, this. I mean, eras are different. You know, I mean, social media is just totally different. And I want everybody in here to, if you got children, grandchildren, you have to download my app, Shots. The reason why you have to download Shots is because of this. There's no bullying. And on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, of course, I got those. Of course, I'm going to be on, you know, I have all those. But still, there's no bullying, and there's a lot of bullying going on, and you got, you know, a lot of young teenagers, young kids committing suicide from bullying, and that's the great thing that we we bring to the table as shots. You can no longer bully. You can either like the photo, but you cannot comment and say anything, and I think that's the great thing about our app shots. Well, that's a big, uh, you talk about there's a huge social issue you talk about, so that's the only reason I would ask. Do you think about what's going on in Baltimore? Is that on your mind right now? We here to talk about boxing. Well, I just think it's all about peace, you know, in this, in this, in this country. You know, I feel that if we <clears throat> can unite and come together as one, we can resolve any problem. Well, do, you think, do you think you'll be looked back? with affection and, or, and love, or just simply respect, when, you know, if you finish in September, we'll look back on your career, what do you am, think? Am I what, sitting in, sir? I'm sorry. Sorry? Sitting in, what you had to say? 
do you think well, once you finish your career, if that's in September or whenever it is, do you think people will look back at you with affection and love or just simply respect? Um, if you look at, if you're thinking about Ali and people like that and the charisma and, and the, maybe the love for him. Well, probably, you know, you know when I was, um, I, when, I, when I sit back and think about my career, I'm glad I was very outspoken at one particular time. I think I'm glad I was very outspoken. But then I had the, the talent. My talent was, my, my talent was on a hunt. If we comparing the two, me talking trash was probably on a 90, but my, my talent was a 100. <laughs> you know, it probably was both, it was probably even. <laughs> it was probably even. But, you know, um, you had asked me something about, you know, I think my first pay-per-view show was with Gotti, right? You know, I, you know, he's he's always loved in my heart. I told Gotti he's always loved in my heart, and I take my head out to the Gotti family and the Gotti team. I, I love, you know, I love Otto Gotti, you know. But it was all business, you know. At the end of the, at the, end of the day, I understand business because I was young, and when I was young, all I used to say, I want to fight this guy. I want to fight that guy. I want to fight this guy. But then I was like, Floyd, you fight everybody in the, in the, in a year. What you gonna do next year? <laughs> so you know, I had to learn the, the business part. You know, just like you know, I knew I've all you know, like um, you know, like you know, Oscar Dohoy, He played a major key. So you know, I'm thankful for him also. Just just every part, every fight played a a major role for me to be where I'm at today. So that's that's a great thing. Floyd in tennis, you have uh, Roger Federer in golf. You have Tiger Woods. What do you think you have like in common with these guys to be like the best? Oh well, we, we're it? totally different. We're totally different. You know, um, Federal was, I mean, unbelievable. It was one on one, just like golf. But you know, like I think was different with my career. I can't. <coughs> you know, when, you, when I if you get hurt in boxing in a fourth round, you can say, well, I come back and fight, finish this fight, next fight. Well, you can't, you know, you had to be at your, I had to be at the top of my game every time I went out there and competed. I think that's the difference. But Federal, Federal and Tiger Woods, great athletes, great athletes. There's a lot of great fighters out there right now that's on the rise. Well, uh, Manny was asked today if you were the most dangerous <coughs> And he said no. How do he know that? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Who is the most dangerous fighter that you face in, in your rest? Or he has anybody? I can't. Against? I can't really say because I still I still have two fights left. You can't really say until after my career is over. Then you can come. Then I can analyze it and break the, break break things down and tell you what this guy was. This guy was tough. This guy was tough. This guy hit hard. <coughs> I can tell you. But through 47 fights, can't you answer up till date, up to now? That was some, yeah, it was some, it was some, some tough motherfuckers. It was, it was some tough boys. And you gotta realize, majority of the time I went out there and competed, I'm fighting guys that's outweighing me by 20, between 17 and 20 pounds. So who was number one? <coughs> like, who was the top? I, well, I never would tell you that. No? No. I tell you that when my career's over. Okay. You know, like I said, you know, certain things I keep to myself. And a lot of times, like I said before, I'm, I'm, I'm human, I kind of dick myself. We all kind of dick ourselves. You know, like I said before, I strive to be a, a perfectionist. No one is perfect, I strive to be, but I kind of dick myself. I can say one thing, one, one minute I can say, me and, pa me and Pacquiao would never fight, then next minute we fight. So, I gotta dick myself, what we do? <laughs> I have to, I have to live. No one else does. And some people say that over the last few years, that it was a calculated move on your part to delay this because of exactly what's happened. It's, it's built it beyond all uh, proportion. Um, was there calculation? Everything is done. Everything. Everything. I think about everything. I don't just make a move like. It's more like Floyd. This fighter is not in your range. Why shoot at him? Why waste? Unnecessary energy. When he's in range, then you shoot. But surely when you get to 49, you want to get to 50? No. Isn't that inevitable almost? No. <laughs> I don't, I don't miss boxing, you know what I'm saying? But it's so special, 50. No, it's not. <laughs> For you it is. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I want to go watch, I, I was supposed to go to the boxing gym. You got 35 No, 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 what time is it? 4.25, you got 35 minutes.